Ah, yes, Libya. The movie theater for the rest of North Africa, as Libya just has a civil war with itself. Yoko Sumina-san, it's Koru here, Shogun of Shinjoku. And today I have a crazy fact about dictators relating to Libya. But for this, we are going to have to go back to when Libya was an Italian colony. Because we are going to be taking a look at how Mussolini ruled the colony. You know, figuring the soft underbelly of Europe, you know, it's kind of easy to shit on Mussolini. But, you know, when it comes to Libya, you might have expected him to rule over it with an iron fist. And while that was true, he didn't exactly persecute the Libyans like you probably think. Or at least I don't think he did. There, there were some weird parts about him ruling Libya, point being. Because it seems that Mussolini had quite the relationship with Islam. It was uh, pretty weird, but let me show you something. Here it is, and uh, yeah. That's Mussolini on horseback holding the sword of Islam. Now, like, why would he... This is really cursed. But why would he want to do this? Well, he's... I think he's supposed to be, like, Christian himself, as far as I've heard from the sources, he's, like, a devout Christian. So why would he be holding the sword of Islam? Well, because he wanted to establish good relations with the Arabs, since they both hate, since the Italians and the Arabs both hated the French and British and wanted to kick them out of Africa. So he decided to build good relations with the Arabs by building mosques, Quranic schools, and even going so far as to call the Libyans Muslim Italians. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't believe this is actually canon history. <laughs> but uh yeah, this is this this is real, alright? You're not dreaming. <laughs> he even decided to make this statue in the town square of Libya and a plaque that reads to Benito Mussolini, peacemaker of the people, redeemer of the land of Libya, the mindful population exhibitions where the sword of Islam flashed consecrate in the sign of the lictor, a loyalty that challenges the destiny. Yeah, that's what it says on the plaque, and honestly, this is just really weird. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like, subscribe, vote on all the polls, and join the Minecraft server if you can. And I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.